<laughs> All right, so you're in the first five seconds. All right, the cover Chavez Kadesh, the cover Chavez. Guys, thank you so much for coming on. We all know it's Hayom Yom Rishon by Shabbos, right? We're already thinking about Shabbos, even though Shabbos just technically ended. So, Bosco, thank you for coming on. Daniel, great to see your face. And we're continuing. So we're talking about the song of the Sadik. God created the world out of love in order to reveal his love. For without the creation, for whom would he show his love to? Do we get the question? No. So the question is, if God is, is creating the world out of love, if there weren't any people, then who would he be showing his love to? You know what I'm saying? If there weren't us, if, if we weren't here, then what, what's, the, what's, the, what's the question? Accordingly, he brought about the entire creation from the beginning of the highest spiritual world, which is called Atsilus, which I think is like, in, in Kabbalah, there are several worlds, I think four worlds, and Atsilus is the highest world, meaning Hashem created us in the highest place in heaven, the highest place in all of creation, down to the end of the center point of the material world, all in order to manifest his love. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. The Rebona Sha'ilam created all of us, created Bosco, created Daniel, created Jack, created all the animals, created sun, moon, the ocean, food from the highest place in heaven. Meaning it was from Hashem's innermost point, in the deepest part of Hashem, He created us. Yeah. And we're on this world to what? To manifest his love, to bring out the Shekhinah, to bring out the light of Hashem. When God wanted to create the world, there was no place to create it because everything was infinite. Right? He therefore yeah. contracted the infinite light to the sides. As a result of this contraction, an empty void was formed for which time and space, the finite world, were created as explained at the beginning of the Eitz Chaim of the Ari Schos Yagen Aleinu. So there's this idea in Kabbalah called Simsum. I remember talking about it with Bosco a couple of weeks ago on Shabbos. Pretty much when Hashem created the world, his light was infinite. Right? So he needed to contract his light in this world for us to to slowly to, to bring out his light. That wasn't clear. That wasn't clear. Pretty much Hashem's light is infinite. It's too it's it's too bright. It's too potent. So, like Rabbi Nachman explained before, this world, what we're doing on this world is manifesting his love, is bringing out his light that's constricted, that may be hidden. Right? That's why we always have to try to find the, the light within the darkness because there's light, there's Hashem in everything. We constantly just try to have to be the best people we can be. Constantly try impacting other people. Constantly try loving other people. Right? The way Hashem created, uh, created us through love. We have to th then show that love to other people. So um, Bezrat Hashem, it's, a, it's just an idea to really understand the beginning and how this uh, world really started and what are purposes in this world, right? People talk about how each of us have a uh, tafkid, have a purpose in life. But really below that, it's it's Mamash, it's Avas Yisrael. It's, it's having faith in Hashem and having faith in his people. 
and having faith in his creation, understanding that Hashem is everywhere. That Hashem's light exists in every single part of this world. Dafka and other people. So, Bezrat Hashem, Bosco, Daniel, the listeners. I'm sorry if I didn't explain the, the Kabbalistic teachings um, in my in the way I was uh, hopefully the way I was supposed to, but you know, we, we always try, we just got to try in life and um, we should just continue to bring Hashem's light into the world, continue to see Hashem's light into the world and continue to uh, live the Kavit Shabbos, live Shabbos all week long. Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem. Thank you so much, Jack. <clears throat> before you go, before you yeah. go, I just want to say like a little prayer. I forgot. Yes. Yeah. Um, at the beginning, but give me a second. Bas- yes. Yes, Jack. All right. Sure. So this is my um, my first time opening up the second volume of the Kute Tfilos. So I'm just going to open up to a random page. I'm not actually opening up to a random page. I'm just scrolling through. Okay. Prayer 22. Save me from disgrace in the world to come. What can I say? How can I speak? Again, this is a prayer, um, personal prayer. How can I face you, my king? Where can I bury myself out of the shame? How will I be able to hide my face from embarrassment in the world of truth? My face is darker than a darkened pot. How will I be able to lift my head before you, Hashem my God and God of my fathers? How will I lift my head in front of my fathers through whom I came into this world? How will I lift my head in front of my teachers and rabbis who taught me the path of justice and truth? I have no regard for their great and holy honor. I've demeaned myself and put them to shame as it were. How will I have lift my head in front of all the true Sadiqim and pious Jews of all the generations? How will I lift my head in front of my friends? Who will be able to see me for my terrible shame at this time? Who will be able to stand my terrible disgrace? How will I find myself a place to escape to and bury myself out of shame and humiliation? What will I answer the one who sent me? You have blessed me with a constant flow of goodness and kindness, physical and spiritual at every single moment. You have signaled to me and called me to you in so many different ways. You have stretched out your hand to me and sent me hidden from near and far in order to bring me closer to you. You have prompted and beckoned me in countless different ways literally every moment of every day. Had I no more than a single dawning experience of your godly presence and realized only once how you've been beckoning, beaconing, and calling me, that should have been enough to make it impossible for me ever to contravene your will again, even with the slightest gesture. It's right to share. It goes on for like pages and pages, but... Um, just open up to to a page and um, obviously that prayer is a B'Shem Kol Yisrael and, and for all the people who are sick at this time who are physically sick, spiritually sick emotionally sick and for people who need chizik and people who are simcha, the prayer is for every every type of person so Bezrat Hashem, we should continue our journey tomorrow and be well